Hi beautiful, welcome back to another video. We are going to be reviewing the MSQ brush set. Is this brush set best for beginners? We will find out. So the first brush I showed is the powder brush and now this is the contour brush. It is very soft actually. I have used it before and I'm going to use it again to show you a review. This is the foundation brush. If you've noticed the brush has this silver handle then a black and white bristles and it's super soft now this is the concealer brush like this brush can go into every corner on the under eye and it's great and it's very soft so it doesn't irritate the eyes next is the i would use this for to set the concealer under the eye as well and i'll also use that as a transition brush this is an i would use this to pack on eyeshadow yes and apply concealer i used to see laifa beauty use this brush okay so this is the spoolie brush we all know what this does for your eyebrows and mascara okay this is how it looks next is the pointed pencil brush for under the eye and this will be the eyebrow brush okay look at how thin and precise that is now this is the smaller uh, application brush you would see when I go into apply now this is the entire brush set it's an 11 piece it is very very soft and we're going to play with it right now this is our beautiful model welcome 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 let's start a tutorial proper I've gone ahead to do brows and I've, I've done skin prep what I'm doing here now is to I'm just applying moisturizer primer and the rest of it okay yes the MSQ brushes retails for I think 11, 5, 12,000 naira. Yes. So first I'm going in with a foundation brush and I'm just going to use that to tap, tap, tap. It is the same thing you would want to use for when you're using your beauty sponge as well. Okay. So I'm just going to use that to apply and it, I promise you it is really, really, really soft okay if you have not yet kindly subscribe to the channel down below and turn on the notification bell so you're always notified anytime a new video is uploaded as well okay so i'm making sure to apply the foundation the foundation is by blossom makeup okay making sure to apply that all over and to make sure i blend the brow region as well so that i don't get this halo brow and i'm going to make sure i blend that thoroughly now i have gone ahead to apply concealer i have another tutorial on instagram my instagram um name is on the left hand side of the this video as you can see it's right it's up there okay so do well to follow me on Instagram. I've gone ahead to do a tutorial on there, like a short and simple tutorial. I'm using this Sandy's Creations Beauty Sponge and I can tell you that this sponge is it. Like, I used to have problems with blending but ever since I got this beauty sponge, I tell you it is the original and it makes the work so easy and effortless. Like, where did my concealer go to? You understand so this brush is really really soft and it is so big when you dampen it it grows like twice the size so it is really good send this creation on Instagram okay via yeah, beauty sponge so now I'm just going to make sure I blend 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 to blend that concealer out to highlight okay we are really in a rush with this look like in a rush but everything still turned out nice and as you can tell her reaction from the beginning the look was give it okay and yes we had a fun time filming <laughs> yes so this is the concealer the setting brush i was telling you about like can you see that under eye this under eye is very smooth and so like the brush goes into the inner you know the inner corner you understand in there like it goes in and you just have to press the powder in okay so this brush if you're a beginner starting out makeup this brush set is the complete set that you will need even for your personal 
and for your professional use the bristles is very soft i tell you so i'm just going to use that to tap the powder and you can, as you can see the under eye is looking flawless and i like and i love okay so i'm just going to set the areas that i highlighted further then we're going to go into the next step next we are going into the fam the powder brush this brush very very soft so i'm just going to apply her face powder all over the face if you've noticed i've not i didn't go in with any cream products for contour and blush okay we're going to do powder blush and powder contour so i'm just going to set the rest of the face and make sure that the powder is sitting pretty on the face then we will go in to apply blush with the contour brush okay so i'm just going to apply that the blush first on the apples of her cheek yes so i'm just going to apply that generously and make sure it is well blended like i tell you this brush has really really helped me okay so now i'm just going to strip that across the cheek before we go in to apply contour again make sure to subscribe to the channel okay click subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me know that you're enjoying this kind of content okay this is what i love to do and i'm going to be here doing it so next i'm going to apply contour just below the blush and i'm just going to blend that together okay to make sure that there are no harsh lines okay So next, I'm going to go into contour the nose. Yes, I'm going to start from the brow bone area, and I'm just going to bring that down, just to make sure the nose is like really, really, really snatched. Next eyeshadow I've gone in to do a light baking I didn't really bake much today so for eyeshadow I just went in with this the flat brush to just apply this shade on the lid just apply that then I'm going to go into the blending brush okay the one I said I could use it for under the eye yes I'm going to apply a darker shade on the outer corner and I'm just going to blend that in as a transition as well. So I'm just going to blend that in and blend it generously. I know that there were some places that were not like really blended out. I know that but then we were in a rush and we just had to do what we can. Okay. So I'm just going to blend that in the crease area. Then I'm going in with the pencil brush I showed you in the beginning. And I'm going to apply that under the eye like this brush and the eyeshadow palette i use is really really pigmented okay like really pigmented there's no concealer under the eye i'm just sweeping this color under and it is given okay look at that so next i'm going into the blossom mascara i'm just going to coat the lashes then i'll go ahead and sharpen the yeah you see that just to give the face a lift next we're going into the lips and i'm just i tried something different today so i'll just let you watch what i did to the lips okay subscribe and the lip palette i'm using is by blossom makeups just to put it out there and I went in with a nude shade, then red in the middle. Then I went ahead to line the lip with a brown. Then I applied gloss, like that was it for the lips.
So after we're done with lining, I went in to apply gloss as I said and I popped the lashes of course off camera. I tried the half lashes and trust me, I loved it. Like I really really loved it. Like it came out really really well. Like half lashes just at the outer corner just to give the look this cat foxy eye look you know. So now I'm just going to dust off this excess powder that I used to sharpen the lines. I'm going to make sure I dust off that powder very well. Then I'm also going to dust off any fallout whatsoever on the eye and I'm loving the look I'm loving it yeah so after that we went in to spray down the face to make sure to spray very very well and this is the completed look I do hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you would get the MSQ brushes until the next video make sure to stay beautiful